Hello everyone. I am Priyank Jain. I am currently a second year student here at XY Jamshedpur in the business management program. I graduated in 2019 from IIT Roorkee, post which I worked in Mintra as a data analyst. Then I gave ZAT, scored 99.28 percentile, and uh, and my summer internships at Bain and Company, which is a consulting company. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about uh, what my strategy was in the last month of CAT and post uh, it for preparation for ZAT. Uh, coming on to my strategy for CAT uh, in the last month, I took the sectional and mock assessment of career launcher. Uh, I, it was an online with different questions for different sections and mocks. So my strategy was in the last month to give as many mocks as possible and to analyze these mocks and to figure out what my strength areas are, what my weakness areas are. And for my weakness areas, I put up the sectional test. So for example, Geomet I was weak in Geomet. So I picked up geometry sectional test and strength in those areas. So since at that time I was working in Mintra as well, right? So I did not have a lot of time on my hand. So there was this section, uh, so this is topic number system, which I wasn't well versed with or confident with. I did not study it much. So instead of focusing my time, my uh, brain prowess on that particular area, I decided that instead of studying for number system, I'll focus on other areas. So what it does is right that instead of solving 24 questions, 40 minutes, say for example, there are four questions for number systems. Now I have 40 minutes and 20 questions. I can put all my focus on those 20 questions and both be accurate in those areas. So that uh, was one of the strategies I followed. And if you, if you think it makes sense for you, and instead of you waste some time on other uh, topic, you can get well versed in other topics as well. Right. So there was a strategy that I followed mainly for CAT. Uh, post uh, the day I gave CAT, uh, I knew that it won't be good enough for me to get into the colleges that I was targeting. So I started preparing for that as well. So the preparation for that and CAT don't have to be very separately different. And you have one month preparation between uh, CAT and that, which is good enough preparation for that. So I know the other sections of POND and the verbal are the same. And also there's an advantage, advantage that the time that you get for a particular section is not restricted, right? So I, if I'm uh, done with verbal 45 minutes, I have more time on my hand for POND. Uh, the only different section is uh, DM, which comes, to, uh, comes instead of LRDI. So right, so for decision making, my strategy was to go through the previous year's ZAC papers and figure out like what is the type of questions that are there? What are the answers that are seeking for? Are there more ethical answers, the more feasible answers? So you need to give more that uh, due to the different uh, previous survey papers, different mocks uh, if you want and figure out like what are the answers that are working out for you, right? Uh, then uh, keep practicing quant as well in this area so that your speed and all is good. You are not losing touch of what you prepared in CAT. And what worked most for me was keeping a cool, calm mind on the day of the examinations. I was a little uh, nervous when I was giving CAT. But for that, whereas for that, I was very pretty chilled out. Uh, it worked totally in my favor. And if this one advice you want to take out from this video, one thing you're going to take out away, take away from this video is that keep a cool mind, keep a cool mind, and you will be able to like clear both of these examinations. Uh, right. And after clearing examinations, you have to prepare for interviews and that I'm pretty sure you'll do good in. Uh, that's it from my end. Uh, I hope you clear the examinations and all the best.